we're going to discuss relevant costs. And this is going to cover the general idea. There are three specifics as well in separate digital tutors. Relevant costs occur in the future and they change between alternatives. Now history has its place, things that have already occurred. Past costs or sunk costs cannot be changed and so they don't influence a future decision. Although history can point to weaknesses in the past, they can inform us, they can give us some wisdom about the choices to accept and the alternatives to consider, but they don't change the economics of the future. The general strategy is to compare the incremental revenue or revenue that changes with incremental cost or costs that change. Now, if you have to give up profits in order to gain revenue, you have to count this opportunity cost as an incremental cost. Here's an example. In order to produce custom boots for a customer, you've got to reduce the number of regular boots. So your profit is reduced by 2,000 because you would have sold those regular boots. These lost profits are going to count as an incremental cost in the decision to produce those custom boots. Freeze your frame and study this and then let's talk about it. In particular, please try to find the incremental revenue and the incremental cost. All right, go ahead and try it. So you're going to get $20 incremental revenue and you're going to incur $5 incremental cost. So every 15 minutes you can earn 15. You don't want to pay more than that, obviously, to get a new one. So four times $15 is 60 per hour. All right, what qualitative factors might you need to consider before going and hiring therapists for this business? Freeze this frame, so check the ones you think are appropriate. That's right, the first three are qualitative factors. The last one is a quantitative factor. It actually changed the, the numerical computation. All right, freeze your frame and study this one. See if you can work it, and then we'll discuss it together. So here, the incremental cost of the 450 that we would have had to just pitch at their salvage value is only the salvage value. And then, of course, the ones that we would have to go buy and replenish, those would be at current cost. All right, freeze your frame and work this one, and then let's discuss it. So the sunk cost is the 50000 the original cost. Can't change that in the future. All right, freeze your frame and decide if you should rework the lamps or not. You should rework them because you get a $15,000 benefit from the rework, the incremental revenue less the incremental cost, but only an 8000 benefit from scrapping it. Can you think of qualitative reasons to override these economics? Freeze the frame and think of a few, and then I'll show you the ones I thought of. Here's some that I thought of. Notice qualitative reasons can be on the side of accepting or rejecting the decision, and they don't involve going back and revisiting the dollar amounts. Okay. Here's a new one. Freeze your frame and work it. So your relevant costs are the ones that are going to go away. They're going to change in the future, the material and the labor, and then the overhead that's going to go away. So the relevant cost here is going to be the $44 per unit times the number of units. Here's another one. Freeze your frame and work this. Avoidable costs would be relevant. Unavoidable costs are not going to change between alternatives because no matter what you do, you can't get out of those costs. Freeze your frame and work this one. Notice that we were asking exclude what you're going to leave out. And we're going to leave out costs that don't change based on the alternatives. Fixed costs can change. And costs that change from year to year may change with the alternatives, right? Okay, last one. Freeze your frame and work this one. So the cost to build it, the incremental cost, is the 40000 less what you could recover. So that's a net of 30000 and the 14 labor. So if you rent for 44 months, then they cost you exactly. If you rent for longer than 44 months, then building is cheaper. You've studied relevant costs. You have three more specific ones to review to have this set complete.